Hello, and welcome to this Steagle.com video tutorial. Today we're looking at images and drawings in Google Docs. So, what are we going to cover in this video? We're going to look at inserting an image, inserting a drawing, resizing and moving an image, and more changes you can make to images and drawings. So, inserting an image. In a Google Doc, use the insert menu and select image from here choose the image source you can upload a file from your computer take a snapshot with your webcam paste the URL of an image from the internet or look through your Google Plus albums or Google Drive there's also a search facility, which we're going to use now. You can search Google, the Life Magazine image collection, or this stock images collection, which is exclusive to Google Drive and can only be used within Google Drive. For now, we'll go for a picture of a kitten, because why not? That one will do nicely. Choose Select to insert the image into your document. You can also insert a drawing into a Google document. Use the insert menu and select drawing. Here you have access to all the tools in Google Drawings. For example, you can create a shape, but you can also insert an image within this drawing by using the image button on the toolbar. Once you're happy with your drawing, use the save and close button to insert it into your document. Resizing and moving an image. To resize your image, Select it and use the points at the edges to resize your image. You can do it to scale and you can also squash or otherwise distort your image as you see fit. You can also alter the wrapping of the image. By default the image is wrapped in line which means it acts like a character within the paragraph. However, you can choose to wrap text around it or break text, which means that the text appears above and below but not from side to side. You can also move the image around. If it's in line uh, wrapped, then you can move it only within the text. But if it's uh, wrap text or break text, you can move the image around freely. more changes you can make. You can crop the image. Select the image and use the crop button on the toolbar. From here you can crop the image using the points on the edge of the image, like so. Once you're happy with your cropping, select an area outside the image and the cropping is complete. The great thing about this tool is that you can recrop or uncrop as you see fit. Just select the image, use the crop button again, and you can change the cropping to wherever you want it to be. The original image will always remain in the background. You can reset the image as well. If you're sick of the cropping that you've done, just select the image, right click and choose reset image to put it back to the original. You can also replace the image. Rather than inserting a new image and deleting the current one, you can simply put another image in its place. Select the image, right click and choose replace image. Let's look for a puppy to replace our kitten. 
There we go. That's it. Thanks very much for watching and look out for more videos at Stiegel.com.